Hello everybody and welcome back again to Mass Effect 3. We are still on the Citadel. We still have a few people to catch up with. Um, I think we're done with this place and with this one. So I don't know, let's go to Purgatory. I'm not sure if these people have anything new to add. But since we're here, we may as well check out all the places again and see if we pick up more conversations and all that. Alright, let's have Port a look around. Purgatory. I know some of these people gave me quests, but apparently... Anyhow, enough about my armor. Let's find the gang and celebrate while I'm still here. Where'd you park? I took rapid transit. Come on, you have the fanciest ride on the Citadel. And I saw that new paint job. <laughs> I, um, uh, I sold it a couple of weeks ago. What? But you love that car. I know. You never shut up about that car. <laughs> I know. Oh, oh, I, I, I get it. I, I have an idea. Did she, did she sell the car to buy him his armor? Did she do that? I, 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 I sense that this might be what was going on there. <laughs> anyway, let's have a look inside the bar. Um, I know that she gave me a fetch quest, but. I recovered some texts from a oh. library in Reaper-controlled space. I can have them waiting for you at Bay D-24 if that would help. Really? Well, oh, damn. It couldn't hurt. Thank you. Apparently Maybe I did uh, get this already. Sorry, remember how to fight again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure this will somehow magically help uh, uh, the Asari uh, in their fight. Anyway, um, I don't know if she has new dialogue, but uh, let's, let's try it. Look who's here. The Blue Suns, Blood Pack, and Eclipse are in my pocket. I'll send them to war when you're ready for them. Is there anything on your mind? Um, no, not really, because it's all the same. And yes, I think I'm going to uh, help you with your um, other problem very soon. We'll talk later. I'm sure. But uh, let me have a look around first. Well, James is no longer at the bar, because... He's getting a tattoo, and you're not giving me any alcohol, apparently. What are you pointing at? <laughs> but I think the bar upstairs does serve alcohol, so... The Alliance is bringing medical supplies by the ton. I know a guy in customs. Crates of Medijer from weeks ago are still sitting on the dock. My friend finds us a few loose crates. <laughs> you bring in your ship? We split it. Fifty-fifty. What do you say? I should slit your goddamn throat? What? I mean, seriously. You're, you're trying to pull off a stunt like this in, in, a, in a time like this. Also, <laughs> do you not notice me standing here? She's not very, not very inconspicuous. Anyway, let's have a drink. Alright, that's better. Um, are Joker and Edie still around? Yep, the map says they are, but at the lower bar. I didn't see them. I didn't see them there. Oh, oh, I see. They're over here. Okay. This is new. Hey, Commander. I was just about to get us another round. So, looks like you two are having fun. Yes. Joker has been smiling and laughing at a significantly higher rate since he and I agreed upon a relationship. Mm. I mean, he is happier. Well, good for you, I guess. <laughs> it seemed like you two might make a good match. I was not so certain. When I first presented his body to Jeff, he seemed aloof. Really? What did Joker say? He said I didn't have to conform to some feminine ideal in order to impress him. I then called him on his bullshit, and we then proceeded <laughs> to talk normally. After your encouragement, his attitude exhibited signs of change. He said he was reluctant, but you convinced him to go for it. 
Yeah, I mean, uh, considering our current situation and we all may die tomorrow, I think, you know, go for it is, is a good attitude to have in life in, in general. <laughs> yeah, I did what I could. I might have helped a little. I see. Thank you for your support, Shepard. This is proving to be an illuminating experience. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm glad you're having fun. You just introduced me as your personal assistance mech. Yeah, well, it was the only way to get you inside. But you know I am not one. Why deceive others? You don't really want to introduce yourself as an AI with Reaper-based code. Mm. They would lynch you. That would be an inefficient way to render me non-functional. <laughs> uh, he does have a point, though. Your turn. Counselor Tabos. Hot. But points off for attitude. Shaira the consort. Uh, hot, I guess? Can we stop this? You're creeping me out. <laughs> Delatras Linron. Ew. <laughs> so apparently you do like Asari, but not Salarians. Your turn. Counselor Tabos. Alright. Hot. It's but just the same off, dialogue right? again. Shall anyway, um, let's move on and go to... Yeah, let's go to the hospital. Apparently uh, Jacob is there for some reason. Let's see if they continue their dialogue. Nope, oh, not at the moment apparently. But yeah, I, I bet she sold her car and then sent him the armor secretly. Spectre status recognized. Please select a destination. Uh, hospital. One moment, please. Now arriving at right, um, Hospital. I know I got a bunch of fetch quests here. So I need to make sure that there isn't anything. Oh, Jacob, you're actually over here. Hey, Shepard. I'm glad to see you. I know things are crazy right now. Exactly. So you have to take the moments when you can. Hmm. So, how is the progress on the Crucible? What's going on with the Crucible? That project is crazy. Freaking huge. And all these brilliant minds are working night and day trying to figure it out. I wish you could see them. Heads down, piecing it together. It's something to see. We'll get this crucible built, Shepard. And then, we'll win this thing. I feel it. Do you feel it? Hm. Yeah, sure. I feel it. And I'm counting on you and everyone there. Get it done. Believe it. All right, all right. Um, yes, I, I totally feel it. So, how is Dr. Cole? It was interesting to meet Bryn. How is she? She's great, actually. It's good to see her work without the distraction of having to worry about the colony. And you and her? We're... We're having hmm? a baby, Shepard. Wow. <laughs> Congratulations. Wasn't exactly planned, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to be a better father than mine was. Do the whole thing right. It's, uh... <laughs> One more thing to fight for. You got that right. Bryn wants to name it after you. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> Shepard. <laughs> That's... nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna talk her out of it. No offense. <laughs> None taken. Good. I don't know. I guess it would make, you know, a... Uh, Acceptable name for a boy. I wouldn't prob na I wouldn't name a girl Shepard though. <laughs> so how are you? So what's going on with you? You still like what you're doing? Things are good. I'm good. Still not tempted to come back to the Normandy? Always tempted, Shepard. <laughs> <laughs> but no. So you working on the Crucible? <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm smart, but not that smart. Hackett keeps me busy though. How's he doing? Holding up. If they make old guys any tougher than that, I'd like to see it. All right, all right. Um, in that case, I should go. I'm glad we had time to talk. Me too. Got to take the moments when you can. So true. <laughs> and Shepard, thanks again for getting my people out alive. Take care, Jacob. You too, Shepard. I'm thinking about you out there. Stay safe. 
you know, it's nice that they, you know, give you some some time with your old companions, even if they're not coming back to you on the Normandy. They at least, you know, get get their time, and you can catch up a little bit. So that is a nice thing. Welcome to Serta. Well, here's Thank nothing new. Um, yeah, let me let me have a look around the hospital again because, you know, fetch quests. Also, um. Maybe we can listen in on these guys again. He's got this glow in the Reapers. They did to her what they do to everyone. She's covered in... I don't know. Glowing. <laughs> she reaches out. Her eyes go black. And she touches one of the farmers and he just... dies. They panic. She rips them apart. Sometimes touching, sometimes opening them up with biotics. The humans are turning into... liquid. <laughs> and I'm there, in my towel with no gun. And husks start pouring through the door. Goddess. So I ran. Well, I think you did the only right thing you could do. I mean, what, what else could you have done? Alright, um, where's that soldier examination room? Oh, no, uh, not the soldier, the doctor. Let's look in every room until we found them. I know that I picked a bunch, picked up a bunch of fetch quests in this area. Oh, it's this one. I overheard what you said. I found this at a Cerberus station. A poison tailored to Turians. Let me see. Yes, I think this is it. With these schematics, we should be able to come up with an antidote. Thank you. The general <laughs> might pull through because of this. Yes, All right. Aurelius should make a full recovery. He's already awake and responsive. <laughs> well, that was quick. <laughs> I just gave you the poison. Well, but I'm not complaining. Um, nothing for me to pick up here. But yeah, this this place is getting overcrowded. Hm. All right, uh, I guess uh, we are done with this place, so let's head over to the next place, which would be the um, Normandy Dock, right? Hey, Jacob. Recognized. One moment, please. Now arriving at docking bay D24. Well, is right over if here. If you're feeling up to it, I thought we could do something fun for a change. Yeah, sure. Let's do something fun. Shepard, glad you came. What'd you have in mind? Something that doesn't involve fighting reapers. <laughs> like alcohol. <laughs> this this is like the perfect reply for her. <laughs> I don't think they've conquered the bar yet. <laughs> I already scoped it out. But <laughs> then I thought, if this was my last day alive, <laughs> I'd actually like to remember it. Yeah, that's overrated. So, so I had an idea. And what exactly are you proposing? Where are we going? Somewhere we're not supposed to. <laughs> Some things never change, do they? Ever have that one thing you always wanted to do before you died, Shepard? Too busy trying to live. What's yours? The whole time I worked at CSEC, I'd stare up at the top of the Presidium and say to myself, I want to go up there. <laughs> But I never did. There were 137 regulations <laughs> telling me I couldn't. So you got them changed? No. Now I just <laughs> don't give a damn. All right. Figured it's time to do something stupid just for the hell of it. Might be the last chance we ever get. <laughs> A little busier than I imagined. How about a dive in the pool? 
Yeah, that might be fun. Uh, you obviously haven't seen Turian swim. It's a lot of flailing and splashing interrupted <laughs> by occasional bouts of drowning. Yeah, you're right. I just have to save your ass again. <laughs> It'd make up for all the times I pulled your ass out of the fire. Novaria, Pharos, Ilos. We've had a hell of a ride, haven't we, Shepard? <laughs> and it shows on your face. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this, this is this is too good to to pass over. Plus, I I honestly think they have you know this sort of relationship where they you know get a little bit rougher with each other and you know exchange friendly insults. I can totally see um, them having that sort of uh, uh, relationship. I think that ride's been rough on you, Garrus. You get a new scar every time I see you. <laughs> Losing a step there in your old age. <laughs> Raise your hand if you haven't been killed before. <laughs> okay. Touche. <laughs> now, before we head back, there is one thing we're going to settle. Once and for all. I'm not saying you don't know how to handle a gun. Just uh. saying some of us know how to make it dance. So, let's find out who's really the best shot. Ooh. There are a few people in the galaxy who've seen me in action, Garrus. They seemed impressed. <laughs> yeah, but I've actually seen you dance, <laughs> Shepard. No comment. That's a All low right, blow. Karen, you're going down. <laughs> and don't worry, I loaded it with practice lugs for when you miss. <laughs> that was an easy one. Let you build up your confidence. Long range, I wrote the book. Nobody alive can do this, not even Commander Shepard. Give me a tough one. I don't know, Garrus. Have you seen me handle a, st handle a sniper rifle? I'm, I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> I said a tough one. <laughs> Step aside. It's also the same one that I actually use, I believe. I think it, it, it's a mantis, right? Miss on purpose, shoot target. Oh, that was interesting. <laughs> this this kind of reminds me of the uh, situation in Dragon Age Inquisition where you played chess against Cullen and you could choose between, you know, playing normally, letting him win and cheating. Now, obviously you can't cheat uh, at this. So, um, I can pick between those two. Now, first of all, I think Harris is kind of competitive. And... Garrus isn't somebody who would like to win because somebody let him win, I think. So we're going to shoot the target. We're going to make this count. Do it. <laughs> Nobody alive, maybe. But technically, <laughs> I died. Yeah, well, next time we'll throw in a herd of rampaging clicks and that's how you separate the rookies from the pros. Fine with me. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, this this was a lot of fun. Thank you, thank you, Garrus. I I really enjoyed that. <laughs> anyway, um, there is a soldier over here that I can. I guess it's this one. Yes. I recovered Prothean data drives from Garbug. I'll have them brought here. Commander Shepard. Thank you. I'm sure that'll help with. Uh, any <laughs> operation we have going. I'm sure. I'm sure it will. Um, anyway, let me have a look at my journal. I did finish a few of my fetch quests, but there is still a ridiculous amount of them. Um, but, like I said, I scanned all the planets that are available at the moment, so I can only assume that um, I will be able to find more um, systems later. Uh, whoa! Uh, please don't molest me again. Thank you. So yeah, I think I think I'm more or less done. I'm not sure if I should talk to Commander Bailey again. I've spoken to these guys, I've spoken to them, I've spoken to them. So yeah, let's let's head back to the Normandy and then we will try to find something to do for the rest of the episode, I guess. <coughs> Right, Dr. Chuck was. Um, I, I finished the quest for her, so maybe I should just, you know, tell her about it. Commander. And didn't Caden tell me to meet him as well? And I don't mean on the Citadel, he actually wanted to speak me 
speak to me um, on the ship, right? Or was it just the same thing? Anyway, let's go and talk to Dr. Chakwas. You've been through a lot, Scars. You giving up? Nah, I got more. Just don't like to talk about it. Fair mm. enough. Hm. We've all got one of those. Just one, huh? Yeah. Not every story has a happy ending. Hm. Except there was this one time I teamed up with a Turian named Garrison <laughs> Carrion. He was pretty good with a gun, but he thought he was some kind of hotshot. Yeah. Yeah, I knew this wise-ass marine named Jimmy Vega. Sounds like a pole dancer on Omega. Always got on my nerves. But the kid was all right. Had guts when it counted. And together they cured the genophage. And stopped Cerberus from taking over the Citadel. And finally kicked the Reapers from this galaxy and into the next. With a little help from their friends. Nah, it was just us. <laughs> but mostly me. <laughs> oh, James. Well, apparently the pissing contest has now turned into some major male bonding time. So I'm, I'm not going to disturb you more Maybe than I later. have to. All right. Hey, Commander. Um, yeah, I want to talk to uh, the doctor anyway. You always pull through, Commander. We've received the supplies from Tactus. Hmm. Everything good? Indeed. We've acquired some very useful equipment. As such, I've been able to enhance the effectiveness of our Medijal delivery systems. I've also collated information that Liara may find of interest. Check with Glyph. Oh, all right. Efficiency increase. Hmm. Uh, yeah, let's let's uh, go and uh, talk to uh, Glyph and see what she found. Doctor Tassoni found useful information in the data you recovered, Commander. I think it was actually Doctor Chuck was, but thank you anyway. Med bay surgery, okay. And this only gives me the option to take a health bonus, but obviously I'm going to take it. Yeah, I, I got a, a good amount of upgrades already. I like that. Hello, Shepard. And, well, something new to read. List of recent purchases by Zaid Massani. Armax Arsenal incendiary grenades, bulk purchase. Thermal clips, bulk purchase. Medical <laughs> bulk purchase. M451 firestorm fuel, bulk purchase, of course. Ablative armor plating. Hanakeda field rations, Casa Fabrication Weapon Repair Kit, Mount Milgram Triple Distilled 45-year-old Scotch Whiskey, two bottles. Not a bulk purchase, I am disappointed. Rifle Parts Discontinued Avenger Series. <laughs> is he is he trying to repair his old weapon? I, I don't remember. She had a name and uh, she didn't work anymore, but I think she was uh, an Avenger uh, assault rifle. So maybe he's trying to... Bring her back to life. Um, yeah, I mean, Caden is still in the crew quarters. I I guess I can check uh, in with him again and see if he actually wanted to tell me something or if it was just about meeting on the Citadel. I should get back to this report. I'll catch you later, Shepard. All right, so apparently this wasn't actually anything new. Okay, um... Well, it is it is a bit late to start something entirely new. Um, let me have a look at my messages, maybe, and at my journal. So, this is the DLC that I'm not supposed to start until relatively late in the game. This is the next main mission, and I'm pretty sure all of this are just fetch quests. So. There isn't really much that I can can do at this point, so I think um since you know people ask me about um Commander. reading some of the war assets i'm I'm just going to do this for a few more minutes, and in the next episode, I think I'm actually going to start the omega d l c so that's something that you can look forward to. There's nothing in here. Um, well, actually, I got a few new ones. Volus bombing fleet. Volus prefer air power in conflicts, counting on the Turians for ground support. They maintain several flotillas of heavy bomber frigates capable of warfare in any atmosphere. Well, I'll take them. 
And yeah, apparently these updates relate to certain quests that I'm doing. So it may actually be worthwhile to read them and see how my actions affected um, the war assets. The Council created the Citadel Defense Forces to support Shepard in the war against the Reapers. The CDF includes ships and soldiers from every Council race. Compliments from a few species without official membership status have also quietly joined. After the attempted coup, no offer of assistance is being turned away by the Council and its advisors. An increase in refugees on the Citadel depleted resources that might have otherwise gone to defense systems and personnel. So I'm guessing this is actually, you know, a minus to my war assets, but I mean, gotta have these refugees too, so, there, yeah, yeah. Um, civilians volunteering at emergency, emergency clinics help to save lives by processing pa patients, assisting doctors and taking some of the burden of the Citadel's overtax medical staff. So, that's a good thing. Warning people on the Citadel to prepare for the war has improved civilian readiness. <laughs> okay. A con artist exploiting refugees was thrown off the Citadel. Security improved on the docks as a result. SPECT authorization released medical supplies from customs to Huerta Memorial Hospital, improving the quality of patient care. <laughs> CSIC was authorized to train a civilian militia strengthening the defense forces. Housing was found for students from Grissom Academy too young to work on the Prothean device. These gifted teenagers have been helping, however, by dealing with the repetitive problems that can't be delegated to VIs. CSIC is concentrating on war-related problems and more serious cr and more serious crimes. By focusing resources, the overall security of the system has improved. Yes, I do remember um, this discussion. These are basically these um, combinations where I have to pick a side and apparently they kind of affect my, my war efforts. After we assured us that keeping money in the bank is critical to the war effort, Volus merchants are making donations to relief efforts and defense forces on the Citadel. <laughs> Schematics recovered by Commander Shepard are helping CSEC easily locate and shut down active turrets left by Cerberus on the Citadel. Schematic of advanced biotic amplifiers from Grissom Academy increase the endurance of the Asari under fire. And the Book of Planets declares that every Volus must aid those in need during times of war. News of the book's recovery inspired many Volus citizens to donate generous amounts of Citadel charities and defense funds. I still uh, think it's kind of funny that, you know, bringing in those old artifacts and books and, I don't know, uh, is, is such critical to their mora morale, but um, fair enough. <laughs> so, we got something new here as well. Alliance Engineering Corps. The Alliance Engineering Corps cuts roads through mountains and builds bases on asteroids. While the bulk of the AA AEC has active wartime duties. Their brightest are helping build a device of Prothean origin recovered on Mars. Due to the st staggering amount of raw materials required, the AEC has been given unprecedented en energy funding for any Alliance resources that will not interfere with the deployment of troops. Updated Prothean data drives discovered by Sonex Industries have been turned over to Alliance engineers. The base of a Hesperia period statue is recovered in Prothean is covered in Prothean writing. Translations have proven useful to engineers working on the Prothean device. <laughs> I find it interesting that the Protheans had writing since you know they kinda communicated telepathically and uh Javik was kinda confused that you had to type messages. So maybe this very old Prothean writing when they still used it. I don't know. And apparently there is uh, something new. Um, Zaid Masani. Zaid Masani has reputation as one of the most relentless and efficient mercenaries in the terminal systems. Cerberus contacted Masani a few months after the collectors were destroyed and offered him a job. Negotiations ended badly and Masani now seeks out jobs that oppose his former employee's interests. He brings years of experience and finely honed survival skills to the fight against the Reapers. All right. Well, it's uh, good to have you, I guess. <laughs> and um, the Asari Sixth Fleet updated apparently. 
The Sixth Fleet has more dreadnoughts than any other collection of ships in the Asari Navy. An almost superstitious dread has grown around its entrance into conflict, as any war with the fleet has never remained small. It was the Sixth Fleet that, drew against, that flew against the Ragnai in the beginning of the Ragnai Wars, and it was the Sixth Fleet that liberated the first colony under siege in the Krogan Rebellions. Unfairly or not, its service people have a reputation for being sober, serious and humorless. <laughs> Nevertheless, the Sixth Fleet is a welcome sight for any ally when it arrives. Updated, the Library of Asher contains definitive works by Asari on the art of war. These texts have been distributed as a standard training manuals to all Asari recruits. Alright, so apparently this stuff does help. And the Turian 6th fleet updated as well. The Turian navy has the most dreadnoughts of any known species in the Milky Way. The Turian hierarchy limited production of these ships only because the Treaty of Ferrixen strictly controls the number of dreadnoughts due to their destructive capabilities. The Turian 6th fleet is technically classified as a peacekeeping fleet. Before the Reapers, it was chiefly used to patrol the space around the Citadel. Now it's ready to fly to areas trying to fight off the invasion. Updated. Commander Shepard recovered a neurotoxin formula from a Cerberus lab, using it to make an antidote for a poison Turian general. Indeed, I did that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, if there, is there anything else that we want to read? Um, this might be kind of interesting with Terminus Fleet. The Terminus fleet is an assortment of mercenary vessels and pirate ships bound together by little more than common geography and a fear of the Reapers. That's enough for me, to be honest. Despite this volatile mix, the fleet seems to be functioning as one under the leadership of criminal warlord area Taloke. Updated, the Blood Pack's mercenaries have been compared to floods, wildfires and other calamities. It's it recruits Krogan and Vorcher, preferably those with no regard for collateral damage. On the rare occasion when brute force is insufficient, the Blood Pack is willing to deploy weapons of mass destruction normally banned in Citadel space. Well, charming. Um, this private security group is careful to maintain its image as a professional mercenary force. In reality, um, the Blue Suns have drifted further and further into becoming a full-blown crime syndicate. Despite this, their ruthless tactics are thought after in the Terminus systems. The Eclipse Corporation specializes in smart security solutions, develop developing tactics around surgical strikes, sabotage and electronic warfare. These mercenaries are supported by a seizable army of combat mechs and rely heavily on tech for supporting combat. Yes, I did notice that. <laughs> and the Ragnar workers. Not at all mindless insects, the Ragnar are capable of feats of engineering comparable with any sentient species. While initially greeted with suspicion, the Ragnar workers dispatched to the Crucible have integrated into the project smoothly. They work especially well on tasks that benefit from group work and senior Crucible staff members are learning to trust the Ragnar with more complex problems. All right, very nice. Mm. Um, this is kind of interesting. I think this was the um, the quest that Bala Von asked me to do, and as you can see, I picked it up, and it is uh, listed among my war assets. But I couldn't actually go back to Bala Von because he was gone after the Citadel was attacked. But I mean, um, it it's it's on uh, listed on my war assets, so. For better or worse, uh, you can consider this quest finished. <coughs> As the new shadow broker, Liara Tissoni has the loyalty of her predecessor's assassination squad, a small but lethal team of soldiers called on for the rare occasion when information isn't enough to silence a target. Their methods vary with each mission, from subtle poisoning to bombing entire buildings. The wet squad is dedicated to whatever range of destruction the new broker requires. Dr. Tassoni has put them to work against the Reapers and Cerberus. Alright. Spectre unit. Spectres are the left hand of the Citadel, enforcing laws and stopping crimes with galactic repercussions. While Spectres usually work alone, the Reaper threat gave cause for these extraordinary agents to assemble in an elite unit capable of operating in enemy territory without backup. 
Spectre John Mbao, while not their official leader, is a group spokesperson. He has pass on important intelligence gathered by the unit to Hackett and the Fifth Fleet. And let's read about the Hunter and Drell forces as well. The Hunter have sent their warships to engage the Reapers to re repay Commander Shepard for saving their homeworld. Though their navy is relatively small, the Hanna have also provided the services of their best drill combat specialists. They are accomplished spies, saboteurs and assassins, trained at an extremely young age. While the Hanna are normally loath to send trusted allies into open warfare, these are desperate times. Updated. A manager formulated especially for the Hanna has been distributed to Hanna civilians and fleet captains. And yeah, let's maybe finally read the battalion fleet and then I guess we can uh, make a cut here. The once formidable battalion navy was all but annihilated when the Reapers struck Kashan. The enraged survivors have gathered into a single remaining fleet. Batarian refugees are enlisting by the thousands, desperate for a sense of purpose after the destruction of their homeworld. No collection of vessels is more eager to engage the Reapers than Kashan's last warships. As the highest ranking officer left in the hege hegemony, Balak is now the last Batarian military leader. His leadership drive and barely contained fury he galvanized his troops. While Balak bears a deep hatred for the Alliance, he would do anything to save his people and has grudgingly joined forces with humanity to stop the Reapers. Batarian refugees are rallying around the pillars of strength, finding courage in this sacred ancient artifact's recovery. All right, yeah, I'm, I mean, we're gathering quite an impressive uh, and diverse uh, force here, so I am, I'm pretty happy with uh, my, my progress here. As you can see, I'm almost, you know, um, completely at the end of my, my military strength bar over here. So, and I'm going to assume it once I filled um, this, this bar, it, it doesn't really matter how much more I get, because I assume this is like the, the maximum that I, I, I have to get. Anyway, um, yeah, let's let's make a cut here, and in the next episode, I think I I would like to do a DLC. Um, I know, as usual, people have different opinions on when to start which DLC. So, um, I I'm just going by my my I don't know gut feeling, and I think it's probably time to do one, and it's going to be the Omega one. So you can look forward to that. So thank you for watching this episode, I hope you enjoyed and see you again the next time.